YouTube. What's good, guys? It's your boy TD, and I'm back again with another video from Fantasy Good Sports, guys. And today's video is going to be on five skyrocketing running backs that are moving up my draft board. So, guys, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. This is cutting edge content. I said what I said. This is cutting edge content. So, with no further ado, guys, let's begin. The first running back, guys, that I believe that is skyrocketing up the rankings and that you should be drafting is Saquon Barkley. But listen, I'm not going to hold you up on this video, but the main reason why I'm drafting Saquon Barkley, guys, is Jalen Hurts is not going to run the ball on the goal line as much. Will they still do the tush push? Yes, but they bought Saquon Barkley in to take some of that workload off of Jalen Hurts. Pause. So I believe Saquon Barkley, guys, is going to get 10 rushing touchdowns just to keep Jalen Hurts healthy. That way he can stand in the pocket later in the season and deliver to these weapons like Devon, um, like Devon, Devon Smith and um, A.J. Brown, right? And Dallas Goddard. So these guys, Devontae, I'm sorry, Devontae Smith and Dallas Goddard. So guys, yes, I think Jalen Hurts is going to run the ball less this year and they're going to hand it off to Saquon Barkley. They had DeAndre Swift as a number one RB last year. Okay, let's move on to my next guy. And my next guy is going to be Chase Brown, guys, from the Cincinnati Bengals. And the reason why I like Chase Brown, guys, I'm listening in to camp rumors, and they saying that Chase Brown is the bell cow and Zach Moss is the third down running back guy, right? That's kind of confusing. We thought Chase Brown was going to be the PPR guy going out for passes, and Zach Moss would get goal line. But it looks like it's going to be opposite. So I'm willing to take Chase Brown at the ADP that he's up. At, that he's at right now even though he's skyrocketing up the rankings and have a lead winner that i'm drafting in the eighth ninth tenth round depending on your lead format so i love chase brown athletic score i love him as a running back and if you go back and watch him at illinois guys he was really really good uh so let's move on my next running back that i like guys is going to be brian robertson yes guys brian robertson from the Washington Commanders. And the reason why I like Brian Robinson, guys, if you go back and look at, look at his stats from last year, and like not back to back, but in two in two weeks that I looked at, he finished as the RB1 in my format. Now, your format could have been a little bit different, but he was the running back one twice. So when you bring in a quarterback like Jaden Daniels, who has rushing upside, and you put Brian Robinson as a really good running back that runs hard beside him, I think he goes into uh, he goes to another level. So I'm drafting Brian Robinson, and he's skyrocketing up my rankings. And right now, you can get him as a great ADP. I mean, I remember early in the season, I was getting him as my last pick. So I love Brian Robinson. Moving on, guys, to my next guy. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, guys. Also, guys, if you need a consultation, go in the description box and hit me up in my Gmail, fantasygoodsports at Gmail, and we can sit down and do a consultation. 30 minutes for $50. Also, guys, I offer other things. I offer, um, I can help you with the draft. That's a little bit more expensive, but we can talk about it. Everything is in the description box. Okay, my next guy is going to be Devon A-Chain. And that's what I was trying to say earlier when I was saying Devontae Smith. But yes, Devon A-Chain, guys. Devon A-Chain is very explosive. Guys, he had over 100 carries and averaged like 7 point yards, 7 point something yards per carry. That's tremendous. So this year, they're using him more as a passing back. Yes, they're still going to use Raheem Mostert, but Raheem Mostert is not going to catch as many passes as he did last year if Devon A-Chain can stay healthy. And that's the main thing. But I'm willing to bet on this guy because of his upside and the offense that he's on that he's going to stay healthy and he could be a league winner. He could break fantasy if he stays healthy, guys, 90% of the, the year. So I love Devon A-Chain, guys. And last but not, not least, guys, make sure you hit the 100 symbol. Let me know you're still watching the video. Guys, watching the full video helps me out. So make sure you click the like button. Also subscribe and share the content. But my last guy is going to be Ramondre Stevenson. Yes, before he got the new deal, people was like, Ramondre, he might not, he might get cut because it's New England. They don't really pay running backs. But, and then also they bought in Antonio Gibson. But when they paid Ramondre, guys, he started skyrocketing up my rankings and he's still moving up. Now the offense is not great. We don't know if Jacoby Brissett's going to be the starter or Drake May or Bailey Zapp. To me, it doesn't matter. I think with Ramondre being a bear that got great feet, 
I believe he's going to catch 50 to 60 passes and he's going to get majority of the goal line targets, which is I call the green zone, the honey touches. So I love Remind Dre Stevenson upside, guys. I'm drafting him. He's probably going into the fifth round. I'm willing to draft him even in the fourth round, depending on what type of drafting strategy that you're doing. So, guys, thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all be safe. Peace.